hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel travel free in today's video let's see the analysis of tech mind on rsd test which has happened on 13th of april uh, two days ago so well, you already know what are the sections that you're gonna get but i since i already made a video on that in this video let's see from which topics you'll be getting a question and how many questions from which uh, from the topic and what are the things that you are supposed to learn uh, what are the major things that you on on which you have to concentrate all those things let's see in this video so before starting the video if you have not yet subscribed to my channel do subscribe and also hit the bell icon so that you can receive the notifications whenever i post a video and let's get into the video now so first section is fluid intelligence as you already know in fluid intelligence is all about a uh, you know a new name or another another name for non verbal we can say all pictures diagrams kind of things will be there in fluid intelligence so here you'll have eight questions in total right in those eight questions you'll have uh, three questions of 3 into 3 squares in the sense you'll be having a diagram like this okay you'll have nine boxes here one figure one figure all eight figures will be there and you'll be asked to find out the ninth figure the ninth figure can be here or here or depending on the pattern you have to find out three questions are in that format and five questions are in five squares format like means like this uh, one two three four five squares are given in those five squares one of them is missing done so this uh, like that uh, you have different types of questions in fluid intelligence this is not a permanent or a fixed paper pattern right this is only the analysis of the exam which has happened on 13th of april on that exam how the questions were asked on which topics you are supposed to concentrate on all those things okay so don't completely rely on this and don't fix it as a permanent paper pattern just uh, to give you an idea done and later after fluid intelligence uh, the second section is analytical ability right so in analytical ability you have total of eight questions again in that uh, you, one question is from blood relations and one question is from directions and from coding and decoding you have a pro, uh, two questions from coding and decoding from seating arrangements we have so many questions from seating arrangements uh, so prepare properly uh, from seating arrangements almost we got five questions and in those five questions also three questions were about circular arrangement uh, sitting around a circle or sitting around a table like that sitting in a circular fashion all those so three questions from, were from uh, circular arrangements out of five questions and two questions are normal seating like in a row or in ni 19th from the last like that you'll have some questions right so like those kind of questions and from coding pre-coding uh, two questions were asked and the next coming to the numerical ability so in numerical ability also again you'll have eight questions right so uh, in those eight questions the weightage was like from time and work you got one question that means uh, on that day from time and work one question and from profit and loss there were three questions so majority of the questions were from profit and loss and from proportions one question like direct propor direct proportion and indirect proportion from that one question and from speed one question was asked and from discount one question and from simple interest one question so so many types of questions were there so most of the questions were from profit and loss okay um, so the main topics which were covered on 13th april exam were profit and loss simple interest compound interest not compound interest only simple interest was asked discount and time and work and speed and all those things okay and after verbal ability we uh, numerical ability we have verbal ability right verbal ability is nothing but all english simply we can say and in this the very important thing is the reading comprehension because it takes a lot of time and you may get more than two questions from reading comprehension for the exam which has happened on 13th of april almost three not almost exactly three questions were asked from reading comprehension done so be very 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 perfect about the reading comprehension okay and sentence errors two questions like mean uh, you know they'll be giving you a sentence and identify uh, which part of the sentence has error and you'll also have an option called as a no error that means if uh, the entire sentence is correct and there is no uh, error in any point of the sentence then you can go with this option no error otherwise you have to pick an option uh, from the remaining options done so three questions from reading comprehension two questions from sentence errors and also you have uh, three more questions remaining right and the, these three more questions were like uh, finding the most suitable option they'll be giving you a dash and also you'll have meaning kind of questions like you'll be given a dash and you'll be given uh, five to six options you have to choose two words 
which will set that if you have written GRE exam or if you are aware of GRE pattern uh, the sentence equivalence questions we have right so almost like that questions uh, you'll have uh, five to six options and you have to pick two options you'll have check boxes for those kind of questions uh, identify them like with this check boxes okay not with this radio buttons you'll have check boxes wherein you have to choose more than one option both of them should have same meaning and that meaning should uh, suit the context of the question so those kind of questions also will be asked uh, done and uh, yeah most suitable option is nothing but filling it with uh, prepositions or articles or any have been or has been forms like that and then done with verbal ability also right so done with verbal numerical analytical and fluid intelligence so we are done with these four actually these four sections are time sections and you know the first um, for the first part of the exam and this later you have the hands-on programming as as i already said a hands-on programming can be done in any of the language like python c c plus plus java ruby there are so many options actually uh, but most commonly used language are c c plus plus python and java right so uh, what i suggest you about programming is most of the programming questions are being repeated so till now i have seen uh, coding questions of around four to five numbers and i'm pretty much sure that all those questions were from the video which i made like i made a video about the coding questions asked in previous december 2020 i made that video right so whatever the questions i have mentioned in that video only those questions i'm seeing not, not even a single new question i have seen till now so perfectly prepare all those programs and see even though if you get a program out of that let me whatever the, i have mentioned in that video out of that also if you get also you'll be able to write because if you prepare them if you just uh, you know keep them handy so that you can see in phone and you can write it on computer then it will not help you if you learn them then you'll be able to um, see uh, write the remaining questions also if, if uh, at all uh, any different question is asked and also be very careful that it is a proctored exam so don't rely so much on uh, other resources completely you should depend on yourself for the exam done so now comes the very uh, very very you know so many people are having doubts in this part uh, so first i mean up to hands-on programming done right so we have seven more sections uh, since there are total of 12 sections in tech mahindra on STV exam so the first one is software testing methodologies related to software testing you'll have total of 10 questions and in those 10 questions five questions will be from methodologies and five questions will be from concepts for methodologies what you have to learn is you have to learn uh, you'll get all the problems here okay problems related you'll get all the problems you'll get so for this uh, problems and calculations will be involved so for this you have to uh, learn some formulae some metrics related to software testing you have to learn and those are uh, like you know review effectiveness what how do you calculate the review effectiveness how do you calculate the defect density how do you get number of defects when a uh, number of lines of code and uh, and all of those are given so all those metrics formulas you have to learn if you learn those formulas you can easily do them okay so that is about uh, software testing methodologies problems coming to software testing concepts it is uh, all about theory related to uh, software testing you know what do you mean by black box testing white box testing functional testing non-functional testing what are the subcategories you have a uh, gray box testing all those conceptual related things what do you mean by a bug what do you mean by an error what is a test case uh, what do you mean by a boundary what is the importance of boundary so all these kind of questions you'll be getting okay so this is all about uh, software testing concepts and methodologies and concepts all theory and methodologies you'll get all problems done um, next coming to the database so we are done with uh, software testing right now moving on to the database so here has asking you only simple queries you need not worry a lot about this if you are uh, good at database if you are a if you even if you are at a basic level in database also you can easily uh, handle this uh, you know like simple queries like uh, the condition will be given salary is less than uh, salary less than 15000 and greater than 5000 so you have to retrieve the data related to these kind of employees how do you retrieve what is the query that you write so this kind of question was asked and emp id is given emp id is equal to 102 emp id is equal to 102 and you have to retrieve the entire data related to this emp id is equal to 102 then how what is the query that you use and also uh, how do you add default values to the uh, you know existing queries or whatever it is 
एंड कंस्ट्रेंस अबाउट कंस्ट्रेंस प्राइमरी की यूनिक एंड यू विल हैव सम कंस्ट्रेंस राइट सो इम्पोजिंग कंस्ट्रेंस वॉट हैपन्स इफ यू इम्पोज दिस पर्टिकुलर कंस्ट्रेंट और सो एंड सो सिचुएशन विल बी गिवन एंड यू विल बी आज टू पिक वन ऑफ द कंस्ट्रेंट लाइक विच यू हैव टू यूज नल नॉट नल चेक वेयर लाइक दैट ओके एंड ही गिव यू अ क्वेरी अ परफेक्ट लाइक Uh, entire query will be given to you and he'll ask you to find out what is the error in that query where the error has occurred uh, so where there is a syntactical error or any error and you have to identify that error in the options done so this is how a uh, database queries questions will be there so they are not very complicated if you concentrate well and uh, later on after database query uh, we have pseudo code right so from pseudo codes like um, you know he'll give you a program and he'll ask you Uh, for example i'll tell you one question which was asked in 13th uh, one he gave you a program and this program is used to find which type of number whether a prime number or even number odd number perfect number or an armstrong number or a perfect square so this code is related to what which kind of program which kind of um, you know program you can write by using this code that is what asked uh, related to pseudo code one of the question was that and the other question is predicting the output and depending on uh, like you know predicting the output not only one question uh, two questions are there and uh, how many types of particular loop will be executed while loop the question which was asked in 13th april one was how many times this particular while loop will get executed that was asked uh, so these are the different type of questions asked in pseudo code and yeah after pseudo code what do we have we have linux right so in linux also most of the questions were like identify the output identify the output of this shell script or identify where the error is there so those kind of questions only um in 13th april uh, you know paper i have not seen any questions related to concepts of linux but in the other papers concepts of linux were asked uh, but still in this paper all the questions were about the predicting the output of the um given shell script only in most of the cases also they are asking that to itself and next after linux we have algorithms right again from algorithms as you are getting five questions mm, like algorithms you will be given two inputs uh, you will be asked to uh, the one of the question was two inputs were given and those inputs were you were asked to compare those two inputs like i1 and i2 let us take and you have to compare these two inputs and the options were like i1 is less than i2 greater than i2 equal to i2 greater than or equal to i2 like that so you have to decide so one of the question was like that and the other question was uh, matching uh, matching of the sorting techniques with their best case complexities or with their worst case complexities were asked so that matching was asked and the other question was uh, you know grading and dynamic approach we have greedy and dynamic approach right it was you, like which of the following statements are true the question was that and the options were all about greedy and dynamic approach and uh, again predicting the output questions were repeated in this also predicting the output questions you have ar around uh, two questions predicting the output questions were around you have got uh, two questions and yeah so algorithms also done so the next comes the data structures in data structures uh, most of the questions were given about sorting in most of the papers on 13th april uh, i mean in 13th april paper you got one question about merge sort you were given an array and you are supposed to uh, arrange that array you are supposed to sort the elements present in the array using the merge sort algorithm and wh what is the syntax that you used to insert elements into the queue uh, that was one of the question and trees insertion and deletion two to three questions were asked on that like how do you insert elements into a tree or into a binary tree or how do you delete uh, an element which is already having children so those kind of questions were asked okay so uh, this is all about the analysis of uh, 13th april paper so if you guys think that the video was helpful for you let me know that in the comment section so that i'll be making more papers also uh, because if it is useful if it is helpful for you only then only it makes a sense right so if you guys think it is useful for you let me know in the comment section i'll definitely make another papers as well if you are feeling any uh, problem to comment it down let me know in the instagram as i have given my instagram id also in the description so that's all for this video i hope the video is helpful for you and all the best for your exam if you have not still written and that's all so meet, let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic and also hit the like button if you understood clearly whatever i said in the video so let's meet up soon in the next coming video and do not forget to comment your opinion and don't forget to comment if you're having any doubts 
let me know that in the comment section and thank you for watching the video let's meet up soon